Just wanted to do another quick rewaction. A couple movies that I saw recently. Uh, first one is Pearl. Uh, by the way, these are non non spoiler, no spoilers for the movies. Uh, but I, I really loved both of the movies that I'm going to talk about briefly. No spoilers. Uh, Pearl, really, really good. It's a, a, a prequel to X. If you've seen X, it's pretty good. But it's kind of a standard slasher, kind of a horror, something, something. But it's a little more traditional. Uh, but Pearl is is more unique and different and art artistic. Basically, a girl who's stuck on a, on a, on a, on a farm with a family she doesn't really like that much or whatever... She's having sort of a hard life, and she wants to get out of it by being a, by becoming an actress or a dancer and be in movies and stuff like that. And uh, she sort of goes crazy. And I gotta say, it's very, very interesting, very, very good. That the main actress is phenomenal. It's like I've watched her deliver some of these lines in in that movie, and I was just like, damn, she's a good actress. I wish I knew her name. I should post it. Uh, maybe I will. But, uh, yeah, she's very, very, very good. Very unique, very stylized. It's almost a character study because you're sort of following this this one woman, this, this girl that is starting to uh, lose her mind. Just being in this horrible situation and, and, and trying to escape, but things just happen and she, she loses her, she loses her fucking shit, if I may say so. And it's, it's pretty cool. It's kind of a period piece, cause it's like 1917 or something. So like, you know, everybody's dressed a certain way and everything looks a certain way and they did a really good job with that. It's very creepy. And it, but it, it, it's also very clever. It's a clever movie. And it's different than, than a lot of things that I've seen. So I, I give it major points for that. But the acting from this chick is fucking phenomenal. And it's worth a watch. So Pearl, thumbs up. Also, I'm going to talk about Bullet Train real quick. The Brad Pitt movie Bullet Train. Uh, also amazing. Fucking fantastic. Really, really good I think Brad Pitt is underrated as an actor. Like, he really can nail some roles. And this is a... It's funny. It's a really funny, R-rated action comedy. And he's he's sort of a... He's not a mercenary, not a hitman, but he's a guy that'll, like, do... He'll do, he'll do jobs. But, like, he doesn't really want to, and he's sort of trying to reform himself and, like, be a better person, but... He has bad luck, so he just keeps running into these horrible situations and shit. There's a lot of funny surprise cameos. Uh, a lot of fun surprise cameos. And of course, Brad Pitt is funny and charming, and uh, he really works for that, that role. And, and like the cinematography is very interesting. All the shots are very cool and stylized. It's, it's, it's also very... like. Like, a, I don't know who, the guy that directed this or whatever, but he did a really good job. There's a lot of, like, mysteries uh, that you gotta kind of figure out, and they all tie together. Like, that writing, the people that can write that shit are very, am very amazing to me. How you can write something that all ties together like that. But there's a lot of mysteries that you figure out while you're watching it. You know, somebody had a, a crazy vision for a crazy story, and it all works. Bunch of gangs, bunch of backstabbing, bunch of weird shit, and it's fucking awesome. <laughs> Bullet Train is really, really good. You guys should check it out. A lot of fun twists. There's even some, like, touching moments, you know, like, touching moments, like, like, oh, yeah, you feel something for some of these, some of these people. Uh, Bullet Train's fucking amazing. So yeah, that's that's thumbs up for that one. Thumbs up for both of those movies. I've been watching a ton of good movies lately. You guys should check them out. Also, I wanted to do a uh, clarification error. I said I was doing a Marvel Endgame for my next big review thing, and I watched the movie and I took all my notes, and I realized that's not the next in line for the the MCU movies that I'm doing. So that, the Endgame review will come later, because I still have to do Ant-Man and the Wasp and Captain Marvel. So that's just a little update 
clarification. I made a mistake, but I have my notes for the other movie, so whatever. <laughs> so, uh, whatever. I hope you guys uh, maybe check out the movies, maybe don't. Uh, I don't really care. But you should check it, check them out because they're very good. Pearl and Bullet Train. Very good movies. Catch you next time. Peace out.